live on this Christmas Day, residents forced out of a motel after an early morning fire. Good evening. I'm Felicia Bolton. And I'm Marius Payton. Thanks so much for spending part of your Christmas Day with us. CBS 17, Steve Sparatia live at the Carolina Duke Motor Inn in Durham with more. Steve, not the way to spend the holiday. Certainly wasn't. It was a very intense fire, too, Marius. The, what's left of this chair would indicate just how intense those flames were. But despite the ferocity of the flames, a firewall in the apartment actually kept it from spreading to adjacent units. However, there was smoke damage in two of the other units. All in all, a very frightening wake up call for some residents. What a way to wake up for Christmas. For motel residents living on either side of room 240, the realization there was a fire was startling. I was laying on the bed and I heard glass breaking and people running back and forth, so that instantly prompted me to get up because I have two kids. That breaking glass that Sierra Hurdle heard was somebody trying to get to this fire extinguisher box, but the flames were too far advanced for that. Were there a lot of flames coming out of the room? A lot of uh, flame uh, inside and uh, smoke, a lot of smoke. Residents were worried that room occupants might be trapped. Luckily, both of the people that were in that room got out, and I don't even see how. While the fire was raging, the manager said he helped make sure that nearby rooms were evacuated. I give to my pass key and open the, all the rooms and tell the people go away. Fortunately, there were enough vacant rooms at the inn so that nobody was without a place to stay on Christmas Day. As to what caused the fire, Durham Fire investigators say they're still looking at that and may know in a day or two. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS 17 News.